Hi everyone, my name is June. I'm an artist and a writer of children's picture books. Today I'm very excited to bring you my latest book, The New Story, Kaya and Tutu's Journey to the World. Yes, it's about a story of a sea turtle. A sea turtle, you all know. It swims in the ocean peacefully and gracefully. I love it very much. And this is a book about him and his best friend. Kaya is a little girl. Tutu is a sea turtle. And I'm going to read this book with you and teach you how to draw the sea turtle in this book by color pencil. First, I want to tell you a story why I decided to begin this book. So one day, I went to a zoo called Turtleback Zoo in New Jersey. In the zoo, there is a turtle um, recovery center. It's a nonprofit organization. They went to the Jersey Shore to rescue the injured sea turtle, brought them back and make them recover. After the sea turtles get better, they send them back to the ocean and sea turtles will be so happy in healthy condition. I'm so touched by this story and so moved by the stuff in the sea, tur sea turtle center. So that's why I decided to write this story about sea turtle. So let's begin the story, shall we? As you can see from this book, there are so many beautiful illustrations uh, done by color pencils and I did all of them. I can teach you how to do them later. Let's start the story. In the center of the vast sea, there is an island. Under the island, there is a city, the ship, as people in my city named it a long time ago. My name is Kaya, and my home is located at 10th floor of building 99 in the ship. My mom tells me stories every night. One night, she said, there's a big old tree standing on the island above us. It is 1,500 years old. It has knowledge far beyond our city's recorded history. It is as shiny as gold. My room has a big window. I enjoy looking into the deep blue sea through the thick glass. It is a mysterious world outside. The blue color deepens and disappears in the distance. I love this drawing. Look at sea turtle is, the, is in the sea and uh, Kaya is at her bedroom. They are divided by this window. It's so blue, so beautiful outside. One evening, I was busy with my homework in my room. Suddenly, I saw a turtle in the navy blue sea swimming towards me. Behind the glass window, he was dancing in circles. From that day on, he came by my window every day. Although we were separated by thick glass, we got to know each other by signals and facial expressions. He became my friend. I named him Tutu. Here I have a question for you. What animal is Tutu? Yes, you are right. It's sea turtle. And here I want to teach you a Chinese character. Two Chinese characters actually, a phrase, which means sea turtle. You can, you can read after me. Hai, gui. Hai means sea. Gui means turtle. So hai gui means sea turtle. Is it easy? Yes. Tutu and I waited for each other. When I was doing homework, Tutu floated outside the window quietly. When I was eating snacks, he was digging sea grasses, playing with shells, and creating layers of waves in the water. I really love this drawing. You can see from the screen, Tutu is so happy dancing around all the colorful shells in the ocean. I just love it. It's a very happy mood for everyone. 
Sometimes we played hide and seek. Tutu said, "If I want to be a rock, I am a rock. If I want to be a turtle, I am a turtle." Luckily, I could always find him among all sorts of logs. Question: What does Tutu like to play? Hide and seek. You are right. Hide and seek. Let's learn another phrase. Three character Chinese phrase: 捉迷藏 which means hide and seek. Also, three words. Hmm, very interesting. In our city, walking on hands has been a long tradition. There are numerous lines of escalators transporting citizens up and down. The functionality of gloves and the aesthetic of shoes are always a hot topic. All year round in the city, the annual city carnival was approaching. Citizens wore glamorous costumes and fascinating accessories to express their love and passion for the ship. Look at this drawing. This is, I think, maybe my favorite drawings in this, one of my favorite drawings in this book, and I think it's so festival feeling. And there are、um, people dancing. Playing,、uh, meeting each other, playing tricks,、um, have all kinds of fun wearing costumes in the city, and it's such a beautiful city. Our mayor gives speeches every year on this occasion. This time he said, "It is a dangerous place above the ship. The weather is brutal, and the air is poisonous." Our ancestors destroyed everything up there. This is a lesson we all need to learn from.、Hmm. Once upon a time, pollution drove people to evacuate from the world above and settle down underwater. The mayor was worried people would destroy the environment again. He wanted to govern his citizens and maintain the tradition set by generations of mayors before him. Here, I want to ask you a question: What made people to evacuate? You're right. Pollution. Pollution is a big issue these days too. I want to teach you this word. Let me look. Uran, you can read after me. Uran, pollution. The world is polluted, and we all need to make efforts to help the world become cleaner. I think it's everyone's duty to do that. One night, I was looking at the dark blue sea and waiting for Tutu to show up. Slowly, the sea water became brighter. Layers of shiny silver lights pierced my eyes. There were hundreds of bodies, bone exposed, floating in the water. I was in shock. Where is Tutu? I was deeply worried about his safety. You can see from the illustration here, all these sea animals' dead bones are floating in the water. Very scary scene indeed. Days passed. Tutu did not show up. The sea was dirty and cloudy. Occasionally, I saw sea animals swimming by in a great hurry. I must find Tutu. I will go to every window of the city to look for him. I will travel far, even above the ship on the island. He needs my help. Every day, my walk was from home to school and school to home. I knew my journey to find Tutu would be much more difficult than that. This was my adventure. I must prepare for it. Jenny was my neighbor. She owned a shop selling gloves. There were gloves with all sorts of shapes, sizes, colors, and materials. Since people walked with their hands, gloves were essential for daily activities. Walking gloves, running gloves, dancing gloves, school gloves, house gloves, party gloves, more and more gloves. 
I need a pair of sturdy gloves, I told Jenny, for a difficult road. Here I want to teach you a word, gloves. They are very important for winter to keep your hands warm. So in Chinese phrase, two characters, show, tao. You can read after me, show, tao. This means gloves. On an early Sunday morning, I left the house without waking up my mom. It was dark and quiet. I was scared, but determined. On the way, I saw two escalator artists standing on their feet and playing fascinating music. People were pointing and laughing at them. How strange they looked. Why do you stand on your feet? Don't you feel awkward? I asked. No, we feel comfortable and proud. You can try it too, they replied. If you look at the right side of the image, this is one of my favorite drawings as well. I think it is very dreamy. I can almost hear the music flowing in air. And it's just so beautiful and calm. I tried. It was too difficult for me. At first, I walked on hands as usual. Later, when I was tired, I could only keep on crawling up and up. I was hungry and exhausted. Walking on foot is not for me, I thought. After a long time, I reached to the grand connection with many escalators connecting to each other. It was a marvelous place. In the distance, the royal blue water was shining with sea plants and animals, like a movie screen. For a second, I saw Tutu was there. Alas, it was just an illusion. I reached the ground above. I never expected such a grand welcome. Citizens of the ship did not know this. After their separation from the world above for many years, Nature had recovered itself, little by little. I wondered why such good news was not circulated by the mayor. This is one of my favorite drawings as well. And I just feel like it's so happy to see so many animals welcoming the little girl after so much hardship she had. And you can see there are horse, panda, uh, rabbits, elephant. Uh, deer, monkeys, all kinds of animals. It's like such a happy moment. On the island, I saw muddy waves. I found my best friend, Tutu, lying on the beach. One of its flappers was stained with blood. Tears burst out of my eyes. I hurried to wrap it with my handkerchief. Are you okay? I asked. We are suffering, Tutu murmured with pain. An explosion happened deep in the sea. My friends were hurt. Finally, we could meet each other without the glass window. I was glad to hear Tutu's voice, calm and soft. I was also very concerned about his future. What could I do for him? On the beach, we traced a series of fresh footprints. It led us to the dense forest on the island. To my surprise, I saw the legendary golden tree. It was shining with a golden welcome. The air was filled with excitement. It was similar to what my mom told me. I was fascinated. My heart was full of happiness. We made sand angels on the beach. Our laughter flew high in the sky. This drawing is a cover of this book, and I think it's lovely. It shows the friendship of the little girl, Kea, and her best friend, Sea Turtle Tutu. They are together, they are happy, they help each other to grow, to survive, and to know what's a true friendship. And I think it's a beautiful thing. Tutu started feeling better. He took me to the water. The waves calmed down over time. I had a wonderful ride on Tutu's back in the sea. 
Try to walk on your feet, Tutu suggested. Instantly, I could stand on my feet. I felt confident and strong without fear. I began to walk. The ground was soft and warm. My toes sank into the soil, still and steady. It felt much better than standing on hands. The artists were right. You have to try for yourself to know the truth. I saw the sunset for the first time in my life. I wanted to stay here and explore more, but it was time to go home. Such a hard decision. I knew my mom was waiting for me. She would be worried. I will still see you from the window. I promised Tutu. Tutu nodded. See you there. Here I have a question for you. What did Tutu say in the end? See you there. You're right. And there's a Chinese phrase for it. You can also call it goodbye, same meaning. 再见, 再见. When you say goodbye in Chinese, you can say 再见. It's a very useful phrase. After arriving home, I shared my adventure with my mom. She said, your imagination leads the way for you, Kaya. I'm so proud of you. I love this drawing as well. And this is Kaya's home. And you can see her ma and uh, her together. And it's so beautiful with the uh, uh, wall decorations and the carpet and the lights at their home. Ever since that journey, I knew how to work on my feet. It was a new feeling for me. Sometimes I practiced it at home with tutu circling in the water by my window. It was the happiest moment in my day. Encouraged by my mom, I began to teach a few friends to walk on their feet. It was quite difficult for everyone in the beginning, but they liked the idea. I imagined that one day we would walk together on the ground above, embracing the aroma of the soil and plants. I see the changes coming. I am excited. Okay, this is the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Next stage, I'll teach you how to draw tutu in color pencil. Thank you for listening to the story. Let's move to the next step. Hello, everyone. In this session, I would like to teach you how to draw tutu in color pencils. It's going to be a lot of fun. First, as you can see from my table, I have a piece of white paper. A letter size paper is fine. Then I have a regular pencil. I have a color pencil, a blue one. And I have eraser. You can use all kinds of erasers you have. Okay. Uh, what I want to draw today is one of the illustrations from the book. Look, Dancing Turtle. I really love this illustration. Tutu is so vivid, so happy, dancing in the ocean. So let's do this. First, let's use the pencil to draw the outline of Tutu. I will begin with the head of Tutu, then go to the shell, then go to other part of Tutu. So you can take a pencil, a paper, and follow me too. Don't be shy, you'll be fun. First, I want to draw Tutu's head. I'll start with the eye. Then the nose. The head. The mouth. Okay, Tutu has a little texture under her eyes. So I'll put it there. Tutu's neck. I 
you'll also need to decide how big is Tutu's shell. Let's give a um, general idea, like estimate how big it is. We can always change this. It's like a draft. It doesn't have to be very hard line. It can be very soft because it's a sketch. And we can finalize the detail later. Okay. So Tutu's body is tilted because she is in a dancing mode. Okay. I feel here it needs to be a little bit bigger. Right. So this is Tutu's front flapper. Another flapper here. Hmm. This is part of Tutu's shell at the belly. This is one of her feet. A tail. This is another foot. We have some textures here as well. Okay, let's finalize the shell a little more. One thing we need to pay attention is Tutu's shell. It has textures on it. So we need to know how many sections on her belly. And if you don't know exactly how a turtle, a sea turtle look like, you can go online, search for sea turtle and study their behavior, their structure, their colors. And you can also go to a zoo or watch TV and you can find them in the zoo and study. Look at their behavior, what do they do, what do they like. It's very interesting to visit them in the wild as well. And always make sure you have enough space for these textures on the shell because these are very important. And there's a separation here as well. Then we need to emphasize these lines because the tail, the feet, feet they are in the front and the shell in the back. So when the things are in the front, you emphasize them. So they look like they are in the front, okay? Almost there. Then we'll add some textures on Tutu's flappers. If you look at turtle, um, internet you can see they have a lot of textures on their skin because they can live very very long and here as well okay because Tutu is dancing so I want to add some sea grasses, some shells around him. Let's have some fun. So let's put a sea grass here. Put 
another one here. Nice. I'll put a shell here. A seashell and uh, another seagrass. Okay, maybe a stone here. Mm, maybe a coral will be fun. Okay, now I want to give the ocean some color. It's deep blue. It's like Tutu is on the performance stage and we need to add a background color. It's very important. to have patience to carefully fill these blue colors outside the outline of tutu. It doesn't have to be very even because the ocean waves can be you know different colors. Some area can be darker than other areas. There's no specific angles of the pencil strokes. You can choose whichever way you feel comfortable to put the color on. The most important part is we need to have fun, right? Okay, it's a beautiful blue color. I love it. to leave some big strokers on the outside as if everything is moving a lot of motions you know it's dancing Look at Tutu. Now you can see Tutu is in the sea. Dark, deep, navy blue ocean. And it is full of movement, fun. If you like, have more time, you can fill the whole paper with blue color. Right now, I'll just show you how I did Tutu 
and the sea grasses, seashells around him. Also, if you like, you can certainly add some more colors to seashells, such as this coral. I can totally put this pink color on it, right? And for example, this seagrass. Why don't I put green color on it? Yes, let me find a green color. Oh look, I have so many color pencils. I'm just looking for which color I should use. Okay, let's put the green color here. Beautiful. And uh, another red, this red seagrass color. saw my name here. I hope you enjoy it and I would like to see your sea turtles as well. And don't forget if you want to read this book or study the illustration further you can find my book searching its name Kea and Tutu's journey to the world from the library's website. If you want to purchase it, you can find it from Amazon and the Barnes and Noble's website as well. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy every minute of it. Bye bye.